Hey guys, Jen here. I just thought I'd do this quick video for anyone that's like dealing with like addictions, um, just to assist people to clear them, to go beyond them, um, and free yourself really from the necessity of whatever it is you've decided that you require. <clears throat> um, so the first of all, like one of the first things in being able to change an addiction is to get out of the judgment you have for um, using whatever it is that you're using, whether that be like smoking, drinking, overeating, like um, a person, like whatever it is that you have decided that you're addicted to. Every time like um, you make yourself wrong for that addiction, it kind of like creates this wall between you and um, being able to change it. So basically it just perpetrates kind of like more like abusive behavior onto yourself. And so one of the keys with getting rid of um, your clearing addictions is to acknowledge the choice that you have in choosing what you're choosing. Because the thing is, is that with addictions is often you feel like you've got no choice. It's like a compulsive kind of action that you think that you've got to take in order to create some sort of ease for yourself or, you know, get something out of it. And if rather than judging yourself, if you can kind of be like, okay, I'm choosing this right now. I know that like, it's not like that good for me or, you know, like it, it doesn't really work for me. I will choose to change it in the future, but right in these 10 seconds, this is a choice. The more you can acknowledge that it's a choice from the space of just like, it's interesting that I'm choosing this right now, but I'm not gonna make myself wrong for it, the greater chance you have of changing it. The other thing with addictions is often like, they can be kind of like a, a implanted point of view. So in Access Consciousness, um, we talk about things called distractor implants and distractor implants are kind of like things that get kind of implanted or explanted into your energetic world um, in order to cause you to loop in something and not create your life. So when you think that you need something or that there's a necessity for something um, and you go into the kind of like wrongness of it, you constantly loop in that and then you're not actually choosing anything greater. And so one thing you can also do with addictions is destroy and uncreate anywhere you're functioning from a distractor implant and then use the access consciousness clearing statement in order to clear it. The other thing you wanna do is like, look at what is it that you're getting out of it? Cause usually people don't just choose addictions for the sake of choosing addictions. Like there's something that they enjoy about what it is that they get out of it. So for me, like um, I used to smoke when I was younger and I loved like, the kind of like space that it gives you, like the, and the, you know, I was like quite socially anxious. So it used to um, kind of like, it almost like, you know, um, stimming, you know, it's like it, it gave me something to do with my hands. It, gave, it created almost like a social acceptance in, you know, with other smokers, like it made me feel like I belonged, like all of that kind of stuff. And so you want to look at like, what is it that, um, you're getting out of or what do you love about uh, the the addiction that you have then you want to look at what awareness are you of trying are you trying to avoid any kind of awareness because with some addictions you might be doing it in order to push out some sort of awareness or there's something that you've decided that you can't deal with that you're trying to avoid so for example like overeating addictions like when you compulsively like want to eat Often that's because you're aware of either like something in your world or you're aware of like the emotional energies of the people around you and you don't know how to deal with the energy. And so what you'll do is you'll eat in order to try and suppress the awareness that you have. And so rather than do that, you can actually expand your energy out to be bigger than whatever it is that you've decided that you're, you kind of can't deal with. Um, and again, use the access consciousness clearing statement to um, clear that. So everything that you think that you can't deal with. The last thing that you want to look at is really like, is there some sort of like wound or hurt in you that you're avoiding? 
because often like an addiction will kind of be like a coping mechanism for something that you've kind of suppressed within your subconscious you know if there's any kind of trauma pain from the past maybe heartbreak you know anything like that can often create this place where again like you want to kind of avoid it and so you'll suppress it and then you'll create these um, ways of kind of coping with whatever it is that you're carrying um, that is kind of like limiting you and creating like the unhappiness or whatever else that you're dealing with and so often like with um, addictions like there's many kind of layers to unravel it and you've got to look at like what is your relationship with you and what would it be like if you truly cared for you what choices would you make for you if you truly cared for you and what if you allowed yourself the gift and the time and the space and whatever you require in order to heal whatever it is that you're carrying that that um causes you to choose whatever behaviors you're choosing the last thing is entities so often like people who have addictions often they're extremely aware like extremely aware of everyone's stuff of everyone's emotional energies of other entities of demons all sorts of things and so the more you try and avoid your awareness the more you become the effect of it and any kind of um thing that you become addicted to other than maybe a person because sometimes people can become addicted to people but um or you know love relationships or whatever um substances will often pull in different entities that maybe died you know that were addicted to those drugs um that want to keep kind of using and so when you have addictions you can often have entities talking to you energetically um telepathically putting thoughts in your mind telling you like that you that you you know need whatever it is or that you want to like have another cigarette or you want to have another drink or whatever it is um also because you like tapped into kind of like that vibrational frequency of that kind of compulsion you'll also pick up the thoughts of other people that are choosing the same thing and so you can use the tool who does this belong to like be in question like when you're you know feeling like another um whatever it is you want to be in question is this mine okay you might want to clear the entities um there will be a link to a free entity clearing loop that you can use below this video um and if you need any help with clearing any kind of entity um stuff or addiction stuff um you're welcome to contact me for a private session so i hope this contributes i hope this brings some awareness to you guys um if you do have any kind of issues like that um it is all changeable and no matter how like big um that feels for you if you start to really truly acknowledge the choice you have um the greater chance you have of changing it so that's all for me today see you later bye